All right, let's see if we can get Amira to smile on camera today. Amira. Hey. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey you hey team what's up fam welcome back to another video those are all great shows but tonight we are watching the a team you know today i decided to get first off before we even get into today's video before i even get into the normal spiel look at your boy i'm actually my girl in our room looking flawless or whatever you know you know tell him baby tell him we looking flawless huh we looking flawless Mwah. look at this shirt you make me happy. Wait. Super happy. <laughs> I knew there was a word on there that I was forgetting. All right, guys. What's up? Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be me talking about 10 things I wish I knew before I became a dad or basically like dad hacks. But before we get into this video, guys, don't forget to leave us a big, big, big thumbs up down below because it goes a long way and it helps us know you like this video and of course while we're on the topic you guys don't forget to join the team join the fam by hitting that subscribe button we would love to have you all right so since we've been doing a lot of sit down videos i was thinking to myself how can i jump into the sit down game like autumn has and also how can i include my little baby butts in the video look how thrilled she is Look how thrilled she is to be here, guys. So I actually wrote this video today and I had no idea when I was gonna actually get to it. And so I got, like I just dropped her off from school and when I got back, the plan was, the original plan, was for Autumn to get ready so that we could go do a vlog with the babes. And um, then she fell asleep. So then I'm like, well, I guess I'll just do homework. So I got Zara to fall asleep, then I got Mir to fall asleep. And then I was gonna start my homework. And then Mir decided, that she isn't about nap time, huh? She said, no, I want to be in the video with my dad, huh? You want to be in the video with your, what? Oh, ha, huh. ha, huh. how did you, we're just sitting here. How did you lose, how could you possibly have lost a sock? Huh? What did you do with your sock? Why are you sad? All these things are happening. So if you saw me on the street without seeing like any of our stuff, I feel like your first thought wouldn't be dad. I just don't think I look like the traditional dad, I don't know, but I'm a dope dad. That's right, booyah suckers. So being the dope dad that I am, I figured I'd drop some of that knowledge on you guys, you know, sprinkle a little bit of that that good stuff on you and um, get you ready for the game before your baby gets here and or get you ready um, as your baby's coming or if you already have kids, just brush up on some tips. I think it's weird that there's so many videos about like mommy parenting, but there's not a ton of videos on the daddy side. So let's get on to tip number one, right baby? All right, anyway, so to, for tip number one, let's talk about labor. So for labor, uh, as a dad, you want to be prepared like I think, um, especially with my first child, it was like, you think that you're gonna be in and out. It's like a motel, you get in there, you check in, you're like, all right, we're ready to have this baby. And you got your, you put your Glover's mitt on, you're catching mitt, and you're like, all right, go. And it doesn't work like that. Like, you're not gonna be sitting there for a couple minutes ready to catch that baby. Chances are, as much as you think the baby's ready to come, they're not, unless your, your wife or your girlfriend's water breaks before you guys get there. Like, if it's one of those kind of situations where your water breaks and it takes you a little bit to get to the hospital, maybe then it might be a fast scenario. But for the most majority of people, for the most part, like, you're gonna be sitting there for days, especially nowadays, a lot of people get induced. Um, and if you have twins like we did, you get induced. So um, I think we were there for like two days. So pre be prepared to be there for the long haul. This is basically the long and short of it. And also be prepared to do a ton of work because that first couple days in the hospital after Mama Bear gives birth, it's like she's so tired. She doesn't know what's going on. She doesn't care what's going on. As long as she knows the babies are good, then that's it. She's gonna sleep. All right, so let's jump into tip number two. So 
comes right off of the liver and delivery part and it's when it hits you when girls find out they're pregnant like the moment they take the test and it comes back positive they're a mom like period like they're ready to be a mom they're already thinking about baby names already thinking about all these crazy things that dads don't think about until the baby is born i think that's when you really turn up to be a dad and dad mode turns on uh, that's when it was realist for me and that's when um i started to do my thing and I think as time goes on, you get like more and more into it as a dad. But like for a mom, you're just from the jump. Like as soon as you take the test, like you're ready to be a mom. So I think that's important to talk about because it's hard for dads to relate to moms until the baby is born. Because moms are so, ooh, 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 yeah, yeah. Moms are so like, they're so connected to the baby. Plus the baby grows in the mom, so it's like, it's hard for dads to have that connection with the baby until they're here, then you, then you have all kinds of fun. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is changing a diaper. It's actually very important, but it's not as big of a deal as you think, or it's not as big of a deal as people say. So it's not a big deal to change a diaper. All you have to do is remember that, for one, you need to change your baby. So keep that in mind, keep checking the babies. And especially nowadays, it's so much easier if you buy the right kind of diaper, they come with a blue stripe. So you know once it's blue that you need to change the baby. I recommend ch checking the baby at least once an hour, at least. Um, but you should be kind of just like, you'll get used to it more often, like the more they go. But basically you just want to get into a pattern of checking the baby, making sure they're not sitting in the pee. Um, because sometimes they, they always, I think they always cry when they poop. But when they pee, sometimes they don't cry and they're chilling. And you don't want them to be in that moisture because it breaks down the skin. Right, baby? Yes, baby. It breaks down the skin and then you have diaper rashes and all that kind of stuff. Right, honey? It, are you having a bad memory? Are you thinking about getting a diaper rash? You haven't even had a diaper rash. All right, so tip number four that I got to remind y'all of is dads come last. Like, you prepare yourself to be dead last, man. Like, at the end of the day, no one cares how dads feel because you got, especially if you have girls, you got the baby girl. That Baby girls, baby boys always come first, especially girls, though. Always come first, period. Baby comes first. Second is your wife and girlfriend. Uh, I think, like, when you're in a long-term relationship or you're married, obviously, you pretty much know, like, your girl is coming first regardless. So once the baby comes, they just want up your girl. But your girl's still going to want up you always. So you'll be dead last. So that means, like, all your needs are pretty much going to come last. So I just want to, like, a word of caution. Like, obviously, take care of your family first and, like, get done what needs to be done for the babe. Take care of your girl the best you can. But also, set aside some time for you. That's, like, gym time or, like, hobby time, stuff that you like to do, like any hobbies, video game. Make sure you set aside time for yourself so that you kind of balance the whole thing. You don't decide to get, like, depressed and angry. But at the same time, you still got to take care of your stuff. So this is the point where you got to man up, I guess, if that makes sense. It's, this is, like the true essence of being a man it's like putting them first getting their stuff done but balancing what you gotta balance and if you're tired nobody cares like there's so many days where i come home from work 12 hour shift or i come home from school or i'm in between classes and autumn is like are you gonna take care of the babies and i'm like well i just went to work and she's like I don't care, I'm tired too. Tip number five, this kind of ties into it, is forget being serious. You're never gonna be serious again. Never, like you can forget about it. Um, and you can forget being taken serious. <laughs> just have fun with it. Like just see the funnier side of things because so much is going on and so much can go wrong as far as like parenting, babies, or even as they grow up. And so you just gotta remember like, see the funny side of things and see the enjoyable side of things. So tip number six, and this kind of ties in with what I was talking about when you make time for you, but this is organizing your time. So like I said before, you come dead last, man. Like your girl doesn't care if you worked hard all day or doesn't care if you were in school, you still gotta take care of that baby either way. Even though you have to take care of the babies, you still got priorities to provide for the family. And if you're in school like me, you got homework, man. So do what you gotta do, but you gotta organize your time or else you ain't getting nothing done. I guess we could say multitasking too for that one, right? Because you see your boy is recording and burping the baby. Like I said, dope dad.
All right, so on to tip number seven, guys, and this isn't even necessarily a dad tip, but this is an all parenting tip, is it's all downhill from here, baby. It only gets harder. It's true, it really does get harder and harder. It gets harder to manage your time, it gets harder to control your kid, it gets harder to find you time. But at the end of the day, really what that means is enjoy the babies while they're babies. Right? You gotta make time for them as much as possible and be there for all the moments because they grow up so fast and it only gets harder and it only gets suckier, right? Right, Bubba? So I enjoy all my little, oh, your tongue out. I enjoy all my smiles and all my cries and all my diaper changes because at the end of the day, one day I'll, I'll miss this so much and they'll be teenagers, especially because I have all girls. They'll be sweet, sassy teens and. <sighs> I'm just not looking forward to it. Are you? Even even she's upset about it. <laughs> this video is so funny because like I wanna keep the camera on me. Like I want you to be able to see me. But <laughs> Mir is so short. Like I need to get her a blanket because she's like right out of frame. You're just enough to be sitting out of frame. <laughs> You're so cute. Alright, so on to tip number eight, you guys have to remember like being a man is you gotta man up, like I said before. So you show no weakness, you show no fear. Because especially in the first couple months, like mommy is gonna be tired. You're gonna see parts of your wife or girlfriend that you've never seen before, as in like her being crabby and tired and exhausted and just on a whole nother level. So she doesn't She's not gonna want anything to do with you. She's just gonna expect you to come and get your stuff done. So you gotta show no weakness. Like you have to be the leader. But for our tip number nine is go to classes and watch videos. So I find myself guilty of this. And I guess it's, I don't know. I guess I should, I'm, I'm guilty, okay? I'm guilty, no excuses, right? Man up, I'm guilty. Uh, we haven't took any classes together. And the reason being is Autumn only really took a couple classes and a lot of it was on breastfeeding, which fortunately for me, I learned in nursing school, but I had class those days and I couldn't skip. Uh, but you, I definitely recommend especially if you're not in nursing or you have no like childcare experience take classes with your wife or girlfriend and even beyond that like we are gonna sign up for yoga uh, couples yoga and stuff like that mommy and me classes so those classes are so so very helpful right baby girl you learn so much about yourself and you learn so much about your kids and it's gonna make you a better parent at the end of the day another thing is YouTube videos so you can watch videos like this in the privacy of your own home so you're welcome you're welcome I'll take you can thank me now uh, you're welcome all right so wrapping today's video up it has been a joy and that leads me on to the 10th tip and the final topic is don't even think about it don't even think about it no is be happy just be happy it's that simple be happy learn the happiness of every situation and I'm telling you right now and Mir's telling you too because she's kind of crabby and she wants me to be done talking because she's tired of hearing my voice and she wants to hear cartoons is that finding the happiness and the good bright side of each situation is going to keep you going for so much longer listen there's a lot of days that suck there's a lot of diapers that are dirty but at the end of the day though, like you have created something. This is your own, your own seed, your own creation that you determine what happens in their life and you get to the opportunity to give them everything you did or didn't have in your childhood and make them that much better of a person for it. Right, girl? You can see how much Amir appreciates me right now. Can you see it on her face? Alright guys, so that wraps up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Let's talk about, if you're a dad, let me know like how things have been for you or if this video helped you and how it could help you or what's going on in your life. If you're someone's child, let me know how your dad does. Let me know if your dad is doing all of these things or if he's trying to do all these things. Also, leave this video a big thumbs up down below so I know that you like it, so I know you want to see more of my ugly mug and this cutie booty right here. Uh, also, consider subscribing and joining the team because we'd love to have you here we are growing very strongly uh, it's been dope it's been a dope experience guys we love the feedback we've been getting and we've been growing and it's just we're having fun everyone's having fun so why not join the team and with all that being done with all with all that being said with all that being done a team out